Good afternoon, good evening, happy midnight, sad midnight, whichever it is for you on YouTube. My name is Equagan. In this video, I am going to go over a question that I get asked a while now. It's been like last week, the week before. Um, and it is, why do I use Arbalist? Apparently, Arbalist is bugged. And I'm here to answer that question for you. First, Arbalist is not bugged. You know why Arbalist is not bugged? Because you're going to be like, EK, it says linear fusion rifle is unstoppable. Yes. Fusions and linear fusion rifles are unstoppable. But guess what? There's a trait. It's called when a weapon already has an intrinsic champion perk, you can't put anything else on it. Perfect example, Ariana's is a hand cannon. You can't do unstoppable on it because it already has barrier. This bad boy here called Arbalist will be getting anti-barrier in the December update when we get the 30th anniversary. So that means that Bungie already has a net coating into the weapon, meaning you can't run unstoppable on it. Now, does that prevent me from running the weapon itself because of what it does? Let's see. This seasonal mod that we have here is called Particle Deconstruction. If I deal damage to the combatant with fusion rifles or linear fusion rifles, it grants me bonus damage, right? And it can stack up to five, and that's for a short duration. Does that still apply to Arbalist? It does. And some of you may ask, why would I use Arbalist over Lorenz Driver? That was That is the next popular question. Okay, hear me out. Arbalist is in a connect slot. And that automatically means that it does 10% more damage than Lawrence Driver. Lawrence only kind of thrives in situations where you have a bunch of enemies that are kind of grouped up. Second, I don't know if you knew about this, right? But Arbalist fires slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields. All right. Now, even in a GM level where you are 25 levels under, you can one shot any shield. It could be arc it could be solar it could be void it could be the newest shield that i never heard of in my life all right it could be these nuts shield you're gonna break the nuts too you know what i'm saying all right now after you break that shield perfect example proven grounds gm has random shields in the middle room because of random enemies all right and guess what happens when you break that shield arbalist is in the kinetic slot all right it has disruption break which allows you to do 50% more damage to whatever enemy that you just broke the shield off of. So not only for you, but for your teammates as well, which is 50% extra damage. Now let's talk about this. You get 50% extra damage and you also get particle deeks instruction tied up to that. You know what that means? That means that Arbalist does a lot of damage. So having Arbalist in your kinetic slide having a heavy linear is actually a really good thing because you have two powerful things that you can use. And I don't have to rely on my heavy as much because I have a secondary option for damage. Third, when it does get anti barrier, this is going to be very insane against anti barrier champions because when I break that shield, I have disruption break and I have particle deconstruction. Just think about the numbers, okay? All right, particle stacks up to five. If you have someone on your team that's running like Vex or something, and they tag that champion, Arbalist is going to be doing some crazy damage. And the best thing about Arbalist is that you can take it into GMs that have three shields. It allows your teammates to run weapons and they don't have to worry about actually matching the shield because you have someone that can break all three. As I say this, I'll see you guys in December when you decide that Arbalist is one of the best weapons to put into your, uh, your GM loadout. All right, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. All right.